the whole system in place in our government in the USA is corrupt. Worldly government getting involved with assistance, it's always going to turn into capitalism. We have a little sense, Jill and I, what it's like to lose a home. And lightning struck at home on a little lake that's outside of our home, not a lake, a big pond. To make a long story short, I almost lost my wife, my 67 Corvette. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that he's here. He showed face. Uh, hopefully... Things can start changing for the better, you know. I actually am very pleased that he made it so quickly. I I think that the whole response was quick. You guys catch the boots out here? That's a hard ground, man. Hey, Alex, for Ben News here in Maui, and we are the 21 of August. Today is the visit of Joe Biden and his wife, Jill Biden, here in La Hena. And they are here to witness the devastation after the wildfire that took place here that completely destroyed the historic town of La Hena. Joe Biden was highly criticized following the event regarding his response to Maui wildfire. Two times it was questioned about if he's planning to come and visit the town or what he think about the wildfire that happened here in the town of La Hena. First time, he said, no comment. And the second, he said, we are looking into it. Will you come talk about the Hawaii response, Mr. President? Speaking with residents here, the opinion are really polarized regarding the visit of Joe Biden. Some of them, see the federal government giving more money to an external entity, Ukraine, than their own people that live here in the U.S. Joe Biden have opened a funding of more than $40 billion of dollars to go to Ukraine, while here in Maui, only $7 billion will come to the resident to rebuild and also to buy some supplies. So Joe Biden came here mostly for speaking with some of the people who work closely with the research and also to make sure that the area is safe for the resident to go back to their town. We are here because we want not only to catch some footage of the visit of Joe Biden, but we want also to take the opinion of the people. What do you think of his visit. But before I show you the video, don't forget to go to thetruthaboutmaui.com. You can donate what you can to offset our travel expense. And now I let you watch the interview. <laughs> On the street, most people in the states now and in Hawaii don't care for Joe Biden, especially the Hawaiian people, because he represents the government that overthrew their government back in 1919 and took over the Hawaiian kingdom. So there's a lot of don't care about him so much. Whenever you have men in this, this worldly government getting involved with assistance, it's always going to turn into capitalism. The, you know, the, the guy in Salvation Army, Red Cross, um, obviously American government, they're getting wealthy off this. And the people at the bottom, I mean, all the food I've eaten so far and the clothes I receive are all, it's, it's hand-me-down yard sale clothes. I think that whatever you can do to help uh, uh, the people of Hawaii, uh, because they've suffered a lot here, uh, will be tremendous for them and not only uh, the locals uh, restoration thing uh, if you can help with that and bring it back to what they want because the Hawaiian people uh, are the ones that created this and they need to bring it back for themselves to bring this back to what it's supposed to be if not better yeah I'm glad that he's here he showed face uh, hopefully things can start changing for the better you know mm -hmm. And um, all you can do is just pray for 
Lahaina and stay Lahaina strong, Maui strong, yeah. I actually am very pleased that he made it so quickly. I am, I think that the whole response was quick and the island has taken people have not gone wild or crazy or and they've been really good about updating us not go, to go into Lahaina right like today or tomorrow because of the traffic. At least he shows that he cares. I mean, like if you've ever seen it, then you wouldn't even want to go there. I think he's trying to come here to support all the people mm -hmm. that they are struggling with the fire at Lahaina. I have no respect for the Democrat Party. I have no respect for the Republican Party. The whole system in place in our government in the USA is corrupt all have to go. In our Constitution, it says that if the government no longer serves the people, we have the right to remove it. A lot of people say that is giving 40 billion to Ukraine while it was giving only 6 billion to uh, the people in Lahaina. What, what is your thought about that? That's politics, bro. You know what I mean? And that's, that's just how, you know, being in that situation, that's you're going with the you're going with the plan, you know what I mean? But you do what you can and give give the rest up to him upstairs, you know what I mean? And just be thankful that that he's here, you know, and that he could um, bring some reassurance. I think that when it's all said and done, more money will come, especially now that he's been he's on the ground and can see the devastation there. Um, sometimes it's a lot, a lot different when you're looking at a piece of paper or a video. Um, when you're actually on the ground and he sees and meets the people, the Hawaiian, I've never seen, we've lived here almost two years, never seen a community react like this ever to come together. And it's amazing. I've never seen anything so done so quickly. Crane is already getting bombed and stuff. We kind of did too, but we didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. So at least we're getting help. Yeah. I mean, like, I have a beef, too, with, like, my friends out at S-Turns started one of the first relief stations, right? They had, on their fourth day there, they didn't see any federal, any, anybody, no help, nobody. They just, like, set this thing up themselves, and, like, they were bringing stuff in by boat from Molokai, mm -hmm. relief supplies. Were you shocked when uh, Joe Biden said no comment when he, were, he was questioned about the wildfire that was happening in Lahaina? No, I'm not shocked because there were people here on the island. We have a website, the, uh, Facebook, Maui 24-7, yeah. where everybody goes. And I posted one of the first pictures for Kihei. We thought it was on the hillside, but it was actually on the ground already. And where it is that the fire went through Lahaina a mile a minute. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm sorry, but it was nature's fault. Yeah. There's no fault. Everybody wants to blame. And I can tell you from, I guess, the outside in or the inside out, um, there should be no blame, only aloha for everybody. He's a president of the United States, so you gotta, you gotta be careful what you say, you know what I mean? And. You know, he's definitely being cautious because there, there's all all allegations of all types of stuff, conspiracy theories and stuff, you know. But here in Hawaii, we just, we stay to what we know is, you know, being aloha, taking care of each other, and, you know, just 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 being there for you when you need them the most, yeah, you know what I mean? It's, that's, that's the aloha spirit, yeah? That's, that's how Hawaiians do, so. If you think that Rebel News needed to be on the ground because we are not showing what mainstream media is showing. We give the platform to the resident for them to tell you their story, the other side of the story. Please consider to do a donation to offset our travel costs because Hawaii is not a cheap destination. Go over the truth about Maui.com. On this website, you can catch up with our report and you can donate generously. Thank you.